I am Shauna, and this is The Soul Frequency, where freedom, love, purpose, and mission grow. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking about things falling. And when I say things falling, I mean things breaking apart, um, things that no longer have any energy around them. When we're talking about vibration, we have to hold a vibration. So if something's in our life, we are, we are resonating and holding that vibration. And like I've said so many times, we are in the time of the truth rising and anything not in truth falling. So what do I really mean by that? I am talking about what we see going on around us in the world. I'm talking about your individual life. I'm talking about your friends' lives, your family's lives. If you look around over the past two years, when, which is really when this started to ramp up. So this energy of things not in truth coming apart has slowly been building almost over the past 10 years, just bit by bit building. If you look at your life 10 years ago, you might say, yeah, it's different, right? I might be in a different house or with a different partner or a different job, or I've certainly learned a lot in the past 10 years. Um, people's lives have been evolving, but it's been at a slower pace. And what happened two years ago is affecting all of us in a myriad of ways, meaning things we see going on in society, things that are going on within us. There is a ramping up effect that has been occurring. And this is because of the energetics shifting. So this is not just happenstance, right? There is always a deeper kind of energetic shift that's going on when we see these things happening in our exterior reality. So if you watch the news or if you look at current events or things going on in the world, um, you will see a lot of things that probably disturb you. Uh, you will see things that cause fear inside of you, right? doesn't matter what you believe about what's going on. It is a lot of fear. So if you felt fear, totally normal, right? Um, in fact, a lot of things are being driven through this energy of fear at this time. And if you're feeling the fear, then it's super important to understand that the things that are coming apart have to be seen first. This is why we're seeing so much stuff. This is the stuff isn't new. This stuff has been around forever. It's been hidden under the surface. So we see things coming to the surface and breaking apart. So I'll give you an example um, about kind of the situation in the Middle East and what's going on over there um, with Afghanistan and the current events of this year that have happened over there. So this is also an iteration of things not in truth coming apart. So there's a lot of lack of truth underneath this situation. Um, there were ulterior motives to why uh, the U.S. was over there, right? A lot of ulterior motives to that. Um, there was also a holding up, right, of, of what people thought should be a democracy over there that also wasn't in truth. And there's been a lot of like projection on what should be going on over there and how it should be happening. Now, if you have an opinion about it, it doesn't matter what your opinion is. I'm just pointing out that things that are not in truth are going to fall, meaning they're going to shift back to what is the deeper truth. So when we see stuff going on around us and we say like, why is this happening? Or we were over there in the Middle East trying for 20 years to you know, create Afghanistan as a democracy. Like we have to look deeper than this because it's not just about that. And we have to look deeper in our own personal lives about what is the truth. If you have found yourself coming out of a relationship, right? Making a job change, waking up to something in your life, it's because the truth is rising. It's because what is not in truth is going to come apart. Now, if you're sitting on something right now where you're like, wait a second, this is not in truth in my life and I know it deep down inside, but I haven't spoken it yet. My words are going to shake you up a little bit, right? Going to make you go, oh gosh, what's she saying to me? Um, but this is the time where we're being asked to step into the truth. Step into who you really are. Step into your authenticity. We will continue to see things around us that are not in truth rising to the surface first, becoming glaring 
right? Causing all kinds of emotional reactions for people. And then that energy will dissipate and come apart, right? And we will see these things unwind. So the best thing that you can do in your individual life is acknowledge what your truth is. Be courageous, look at this and go ahead and make the adjustments, right? That your intuition is telling you because this moves us into greater alignment. So important at this time. We, we look at our outer world and we say, hey, we wanna fix some things here. We want life to be different. We want people to show up in a different way. We want people to care about people, care about the earth. And that begins with you, with me, with all of us, right? If we tell the truth in here, more of the reality we see out there becomes the truth and becomes something that's very empowering. So take this moment, think about it, think what within you needs to shift and change. What within you can you acknowledge, right? Not just for your life, right? Of course we wanna change our lives, but for the greater good. If this is all about that we are one and this is all about shifting for the collective, then we have to start being courageous individually because every time you're courageous individually, you're helping shift the collective. So if this resonates with you, if you're feeling that tinge of either like, yes, thank you for saying that, or that moment of like, I can't believe she said that, I'm triggered right now, please subscribe. We're gonna be talking more about this click the thumbs up button so other people can find this video, share it with your friends and family. You know that person in your life that needs to acknowledge the truth and needs to allow that to rise to the surface. And I'll see you guys back here.